You guys understand we're doing some filming for training purposes? Yes, oh, I explained to Jack that just to be that. normal and, you but know, yeah, it, it helps other help. nurses. Helps other people, yeah. Okay? My father had epilepsy, um, but uh, my, my family and I as a child had uh, febrile, so whenever we had fevers, we, we might get a, uh, have a grand mal. His first seizure, mommy was what? You were at a softball game. Coach a softball game. Uh, he had a fever. We got him to the hospital, and they just attributed it to the fever. And sent us home, hope, hope it won't happen again. And then he had another one. Right? And, yeah. Um, that one was in the bathtub. That was. But that was also, again, with a fever. Was... And then we had the other one when he didn't have a fever. That's kind of when he ended up getting admitted. And a scary one was when he had one uh, that same day. He had a second one in the, the second remember that? Top of me. Yeah, I remember. In the emergency room. Yeah. So that was uh, pretty scary. Even the people in the ER, when they came in and it was like Jack had another one of these, and they were in May, June, and this is August. And they were like, he doesn't have a fever? And we said no. And they're like, OK, this is different. The next morning, they came in really early. She walked in and was like, OK, Jack has epilepsy. She said, you know, did you notice all the seizures last night? And I'm like, no. They said he was having one a minute that first night. On the video, you were sitting next to him in the bed, and he was having him right next to you, and you had no idea. I'm like, I have no idea. So in the beginning, it was definitely oh you know, eyes on him every second of the day, the poor kid. Leaving the hospital was like, I didn't want to go home because I was like, how, I don't even know he's having them right next to me. But by the time I left and he was on medication for like three days, we were in the hospital for a long time. We were back like a month later and he was having one an hour. So they were like, it's a lot less. I'm like, yeah, but one an hour is still 24 a day. Like, that's not good. A heat stroke. Oh, we're doing that again? He just kept saying his head hurt, his head hurt. So we got in the car to come home and he starts screaming really that his head was hurting so bad. He was actually asking to go to the doctor. He's like, well, it really hurts, mom. It really... And I'm like, oh, and I'm where driving. Was, where was your head hurting you? And you tell. Uh, like right over here. Right over there, just yeah. on the side or all over? Or? Yeah, like all over. Like all over, uh -huh. yeah. Uh -huh. Hi. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you guys? You know that dude? Yeah. Who is that? Robles. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know his name. Wow. What's up? You must be Jack. What's he doing here? I'm Luis. Wow. It's nice to meet you. Hi, Luis. How are you Luis. doing? Nice to meet you. Nice wow. to meet you. Nice we to meet you as well. Tell me, we're watching the game the other day. What did we think of that player <laughs> that went into your goal? What was the mini? Joseph Martinez. Off. Oh, we don't like him. We don't like him. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't like him because he scored two goals. Oh, my that. gosh. But then when he came in the goal and tried to take the ball away, Jack and I were like, that guy is fresh. He whipped his shirt yeah. off. Why did he take his shirt off? Just, it's not you know, like my wife always wonders that. Game. Like, why Why yeah. do they take their shirts off? It's it's I've never like celebrated a, a goal it's like, it since like, I'm a goalie. Because it's not even a championship game. <laughs> yeah. But it was a big game. It was a big game because there's. There's some bad blood between us, and we've actually only lost to them once in our history. Okay. Unfortunately, it was at the worst time because it was in the playoffs. Right. I was right. at one of the games. Yeah, which game were you at? Um, it was two years ago when you played Atlanta. And <laughs> you won. We won. 2-0? <laughs> yeah. 2-1. Two zero? Two one. Two one. He has like a ridiculous, amazing stats in his brain. That's great, man. He remembers. So where do you play at? Where's the uh, Aviator Soccer Club? It's in Hasbro Heights. In Hasbro Heights, so it's really close here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So were you totally surprised that I was coming to visit you today? You had no idea that I was going to stop by and say what's up. Yeah, I had no idea. <laughs> okay, well, I actually have more surprises for you then. Okay, because what's going to happen is, and I think your mom is aware of it and your doctor is definitely aware of it, is we're gonna have an experience. And throughout all of this, I'm gonna get to learn about you and your hopes and your dreams. Throughout that, 
you're going to come with me to training. Would you like that? And so then you're gonna train and you're gonna see what it's like as we get ready for a game and then we're gonna take you to a game. Okay. Wow. What do you think about that? Good. Yeah? That's awesome. Is that exciting? Mm -hmm. Good, if you're excited, I'm excited. So, well, why don't you tell me a little, about, a little bit about yourself? I have epilepsy. I am the youngest of four. I have three other siblings. What's it like being the baby of the family? It's better because I <laughs> get to do less stuff. Oh, nice. That's right, they do all the chores, right? Okay. Honestly, he's a good, he's a good chore guy. Well, he's smart, he's That's smart. Thank you. That's yeah, you're amazing. Welcome. You're welcome. So you're diagnosed with epilepsy, right? Now, how do you feel that each and every day? Is that something that comes and goes? Is there a certain parts of your day that you have to be cautious about because of it? Well, Jack got diagnosed when he was like three and a half. He had a few seizures. He doesn't even remember. Eyes rolling back, convulsing, holding his breath. Like, and so he was experiencing that as a yes, three-year-old? Yes, as a three-year-old. I mean, like, how scary was that for you? Ridiculous, ridiculous. How yeah. long have you been playing on the Red Bulls? That's a good question. So, um, this is my eighth season. Every single season, were you the goalie? They only let me play goalie. Okay. Every once in a while, I asked to play on the field, and they just rolled their eyes at me. Yeah. No, I've. That's how soccer started for me. When I was 11 years old, a friend of mine was trying out for a soccer team. It was like a travel soccer team, and, and I didn't really have much of a soccer background up until then. And after the first day of tryouts, they let me know that I was just a terrible soccer player and that I didn't need to come back anymore. <laughs> but what ended up transpiring is a couple weeks later, their goalkeeper got hurt. Or he just, I think he was indecisive if he just wanted to play goalie. And they said, well, if you're willing to come and learn how to be a goalie and be only goalie, you can be on the team. And then I just, I fell in love with all of it. I fell in love with the position. I fell in love with just playing the game. And I developed some really close friendships with some guys that we were obsessed. And here we have Jack, he's a nine-year-old boy, he's an active nine-year-old mm -hmm. boy. How is epilepsy gonna affect his daily activities? Is it gonna prevent him from doing anything? Or can he just sort of go on and be a nine-year-old boy and not so our worry goal, about it? Right, so our goal is to make sure that they could go on and just be you know, normal kids and, and play sports and be advocates for themselves. Um, swimming can be of an issue because obviously if they have uncontrolled seizures or random seizures, um, swimming, you know, we, we try to limit swimming or have, make sure somebody's in the water with them at all times. Yeah. And the adolescents will even tell them, you know, when they use the bathroom or go take a shower not to lock the bathroom door as they like to do when they're older. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> and so, you know, that way, God forbid, something happens in that situation. <laughs> um, and obviously like climbing or, you know, if we know that they're going on the jungle gym, they should have somebody just right near there and not just sitting on the bench. Well, Jack, sounds like you're a brave kid. He is a brave yeah. kid. Indeed, he is. I'm glad that I got to, look easy. to know yeah. a little bit more about you, and I'm glad that you're surprised. When you come to training, you're going to be able to take some shots on me. Do you think you're going to score? Come on, you got to be confident. You got to say, yes, I'm going to score. I'm going to score every single time. All right? Well, that's cool. Are you looking forward to it? That's awesome. Well, use that ball, practice a little bit, and when we figure out which day you're gonna come, you get to put your, your skills on display. There you go. Well, it was really nice to meet you, and I look forward to the next time we see each other. Okay? Very cool, man. changed our life from literally sitting here at night going, what are we going to do? We can't stop him from coughing.